Hello, my name is Marcus William Morris, and I'm author of the book, Lack and the Art of Deprogramming. So, let's take a good look at this cover. Uh, it's an alien holding a baby over a tower. <laughs> a tower, I think I said tower. It's like I'm five years old. But yeah, um, so I'm pretty sure like that image it's something quite unusual like some, i mean I, I know it's unusual because i literally created that image but i know it's something that you guys have not seen before and probably are wondering why did i choose this image for the cover of my book so let's get into it so this here this is the tower of babel some of you might have guessed that but just in case you haven't that's what it is this of course is an alien <laughs> It looks kind of similar to the ones you would see in the Aliens movies, the series. Uh, and it's holding a baby. And the reason why I have that there is because I saw this Sumerian slash Mesopotamian effigy from like the Babylonian era. And it was a statue of an alien that looks a little different than this, holding a baby. And I was intrigued by it. It is it an alien or a reptilian-like figure, which is also alien because it's not a uh, human. Uh, so yeah, it's holding a child, and it looked like it was like you know, in, in a way, breastfeeding that child, which also drew an allegory to the very common uh, portrait you see of Mary holding Jesus, and. The main basis of my book is that our world religions come from much older sources and they're copies of ancient, ancient uh, information in scripture, religion and scripture. I would say knowledge also because it's just, you know, knowledge passed down. Whether it's true or false, fact or myth, it's still information passed down through thousands of years. So, the reason why I chose that because I wanted to show how the images that we think are unique to Christianity come from much, much older sources. Um, and <laughs> that's one of the sources I was uh, claiming is, you know, the, the Babylonians and the, uh, the Mesopotamians who also are, um, who are, uh, who write the stories of the Anunnaki and Elohim and Nephilim. Uh, which are, was which they say are fallen angels, which are also synonymous with the word alien, because anything not of this earth, whether it be fallen angel or anything that is not literally born on earth, is by definition an extraterrestrial. Uh, one of the things I've been looking into lately is the Silurian Silurian hypothesis. So the Silurian hypothesis goes into a theory of how there may have been an intelligent human, human, well, not intelligent human, intelligent civilization here on Earth before humans, uh, which may have been reptilian, like the dinosaurs, and uh, and phyla instead of instead of mammalian, which we are, we're, we're mammalian. They may have been reptilian. Um, let's just say these reptilians were still here or come and go. And let's just say they planted humans here on earth and altered our DNA and gave us religion, civilization, uh, the potter's wheel and the plow and our numerical system, our governing system, all these things. Let's say they gave us this and they programmed us because they wanted us under their control to be obedient and passive and to believe in sky deities who they claim is god that's just a hypothesis i'm not saying all that is literally fact but there is evidence that points towards it and that is something that i love to explore uh, i can go way deeper with you if you want to go deeper with me leave a comment below follow me Subscribe to my YouTube. My YouTube is Marcus Morris D. It's mostly the same videos on, on, as I have on here. But yeah, 
Let's keep going. See you next video.